What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere, and welcome back for another episode of Zero to Hero Factorio Edition. Um, we are in episode two. So on the last episode, we kind of went through making your map, the different settings, and kind of going through all the different ways to configure a map. So if you haven't seen that yet, check the link in the description um, and check that video out before making your way to this one. It kind of helps to watch them in order if you are a new player that way you kind of get the full experience uh today we are going to be working on our smelting array and um our big kind of mining fields that's that's our goal for today is to finish that out um we did finish out with our kind of first smelt or mining row over here we do see that because we're filtering out and we don't really have an output right here that you know, the coal has nowhere to go. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that, place a bunch of miners all on both ore patches here, as well as on the iron patch here. And then, like I mentioned before, we're going to start expanding into this area here where we, this is where we're gonna have our um, smelting columns with all of our different ores. And then we're gonna filter out all the lanes to come down north, south here, and then start our main bus. Uh, the last episode did run a bit long. Um, that was just kind of, you know, with all the intros and everything like that and setting the game up, we didn't really get to see a bunch of gameplay. I would like to keep these episodes around, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, uh, max. Uh, let's see here. One thing I did forget, I forgot to, to connect our automatic coal mining to our power setup. But I think we don't have enough belts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few more belts. And then we also need some burner miners. So let's make a couple of those. I'll just drag along here. Perfect. So now the coal will automatically feed into this power setup from our mining array. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got our burner miners. Let's go ahead and set those and we'll keep on crafting those until we need more. Um, but what I do want to do, since we are going to need a bunch of electric miners, I want to expand our little mini factory over here to include the automatic production of miners. But I see it stopped, so we do need some more copper. So let's go ahead and pick up some resources. As I mentioned in the previous video, to just walk around and control click and drag just to automatically pick up anything that's in a container. Um, let's see, we will need more belts. So let's go ahead and put half of everything in here. And I want to delete actually this little, this little facility here and I'm gonna move it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna branch off here Need to add some copper there so that that starts working. Branch off here into a, this is gonna be our electric mining drill and we need iron plate, iron gear wheel and electronic circuits. So we're getting our electronic circuits from here, but we do need the iron. Let's see, let's make it this way, this way. Perfect, and do we have any more? No, we don't, so we need another, another few inserters. That way, get all of our iron in here, and this is going to make our gear wheels. So let's power this up. And that way, now we are automatically making some electric miners while we start our smelting arrays. Uh, let's pick up some of these. And then what, do we, what? why has this stopped? Oh, it stopped because we don't have any research going. So let's go ahead, pick this. Let's see, can use some steel, some projectile damage. This is usually good to get in the early game. However, since we do have a larger starting size, we kind of can squeak through without really doing it. Um, let's see. We will need fast inserters soon, so electronics might be a good way to start. And then obviously stone walls will come with defenses. So 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna queue up some steel processing and then also a logistics, the green science right here. That'll kind of open up some windows. Okay, so we're getting some miners going. We got some belts going. Great, great, great. Oh, and this is where at the beginning of the series where I listed automatic deconstruct. It's a great tool. Um, now that this miner has run out of resources to mine, it automatically marks it for deconstruction, hence auto deconstruct. And it's just a fantastic tool. I love it. I'm going to add some smelting. And since there's still some unprocessed iron ore there, I'm going to keep it running and just pick up some iron. Okay. Now, where should we start first? You know what? Since this is a little backed up, I'd like to add another row of miners. So let's go ahead and do that while we got the time and while we got the miners. Turn this around. Place a ghost there. And then while we're waiting for our mini factory to start to make more of the miners, we'll go ahead and place down the belts while we wait. Might as well be productive. Place some poles. All right, so this is gonna go. Now, I probably shouldn't have brought everything out here, or I probably shouldn't have brought this belt all the way, because I probably wanna merge all the iron, or all the coal production that's from this mining field. So what I'm gonna do do I have, yes, I do have splitters. Okay, perfect. Okay, I got some more of these, great. Let's go ahead and finish out this row. Oh, looks like I do need more here. Ah, no, I can wait, I can keep that for the, for the next row. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna balance out this lane And then we're gonna bring all the lanes together. I'm assuming this might be four rows. Let me see, I might be lying. I don't, I don't like being a liar, but let's double check. Let's clear these. I don't think we're gonna need that much coal left. If so, we can just pick it up from the belt. Um, let's go ahead and do our control C to copy. And let's kind of plan out these rows right here. See how many rows we're gonna need. That's one. That's two, and we got a little bit sneaking this way. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just be a little bit proactive, add a balancer. This one isn't a great balancer, but it only works if you only have product on one side. For example, we only have these miners on the left side of the belt right here. So what it'll do is it'll split and keep half of the material on the left side and then put the other half on the right side. So in this case, it's not a huge deal. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divert this and bring it in here. And then I'm gonna, since I want this row to, oh, the research is finished. Since I want this row to empty first, I'm gonna prioritize uh, the input priority to here, to the left side. And then I'm going to bring all, let's see, is this four rows? It is four rows, but this is, hmm. No, this is such a small row that it's really three. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that back. And I'm gonna bring, let's delete this, all four rows together and balance them together. So I'm gonna do like so. Is that enough room? No, it's not, I need one more. There, there, and there, okay. Now, this is a balancer for four lanes and it might look a little complicated now, but after you build a few, it is, it's fairly easy to remember how they work. 
and you can just kind of follow along how I'm doing it right now. Oh, and we ran out of splitters. So let's make five more splitters. Now we researched steel plate and we researched the submachine gun. So now we can make steel chests. And actually, now that we have steel, I want to queue up this steel axe research because this allows you to mine faster. And while we are still hand mining a tad, it's good to keep that in our back pocket. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out two lanes. I'm gonna delete all of this because now it's redundant and I'm going to split off one going up, one going down. Perfect. Uh, we ran out of belts again. Actually, it's fine because we can now delete these. And again, like before, we need to prioritize our output to the right to so make sure the power gets coal first. Okay, so we got some more miners. Oh, and one thing I forgot to do, we need to make some lamps because it is dark for y'all. So I wanna make sure that you guys can see. Great. Let's queue up a bunch of lamps. So this row is working, powering the steam engines. Now what do we have here? Oh, we're missing iron. Go figure, we're always missing iron. Now this miner is also done, so we can go ahead and delete this. All right. Go ahead and add, we'll set a little bit. Need some more belts, need some more miners, and this needs some more iron. Great, this is working like clockwork. Okay, cool. Now, let's finish out the top row of this copper so that the ore can flow and then we can start getting rid of this. So, let's go ahead, finish out this row. Oh, and we can add some more up here. Ah, uh, the 600 isn't, isn't needed. Perfect. Let's add our belts on this side. And then let's add the other side of this one right here. There we go. Add the belts. And now, finally, Add the power poles, and we ran out of power poles. So let's make a couple more. Oops, there we go. And this is one of the reasons why I love squeak through because then you can squeak through all these miners here without that, and the without that mod you cannot. So it's one of the reasons why I like to have it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is right off the bat, we are going to balance these lanes and then balance this lane. Whoops, turn that there. Then we're gonna come down and these are gonna be some of our copper lanes. Great, so now this lane is going, ooh, I forgot to prioritize. Okay, so since we want to prioritize cleaning up this dirty belt. We want this lane of coal to go in first. So let's, and we need to follow kind of that track out. So let's put input priority to the left. And now this will feed in to two places. So out of this one, we need input priority to the left as well so that it takes from here first rather than from this side. And then from there, it should, I don't think it matters too much in the splitting algorithm because then these two will come in. 
Oh, we do want to add another left here since it'll split between these two lanes, go here. We'll add another left here. And then finally, these shouldn't matter because it should be even at this point. And then this will only be at the beginning. Usually you don't want to prioritize anything because that defeats the point of having a balancer. But just in this case, to clean up this row, it'll, it'll be nice. Okay. Let's pick up some more miners, some more of those. And now let's start handcrafting all of these stone furnaces. We're gonna need all of them. Let's delete this. Make more of these. Okay, so now we can start looking at, oh, there's actually, before I, before I do that, I wanna make some radars so that I can see the map while I'm in map mode. That's one thing I love about this. And then it'll also start expanding our fog of war on this map over here. Okay, let's go up to here, at the very top of our base, add a radar, here, let's skip that so that we can focus on the radars and then re queue those. One radar, please. Coming right up, there you go. All right, so now you see that extra line. So the radar starts off with anything that you can see here. If our person is down here, the radar will allow you to see the map up here and go around, which is fantastic. And then how much power are we using? Do we need any more while I'm here? No, okay, we're good. All right, let's go back down and now we will start our smelting columns. Now there's one thing I wanna do in this playthrough. I don't wanna to rely too much on blueprints. I wanna show you guys how to build from scratch the blueprints that I use. Um, we'll, we will be using more blueprints down the line when it comes to nuclear power. The ratios there are kind of overwhelming and I don't really know them by, by heart. So I'm gonna use blueprints, especially for that. Um, but where we can, we're gonna build by hand, um, like we did with the four lane balancer there. Um, we're gonna build those by hand. If it gets to be eight lanes or more, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot better to use a blueprint because even I haven't figured out the intricacies of lane balancing and how to do that by hand. Um, but there are some great resources out there. Um, the Factorio Wiki and the mod lists um, online. There's a you can just Google Factorio Lane Balancer, and a bunch of options will come up from four to four, two to four, four to two, and eight by eight, and all that type of stuff. So if you need any resources on good blueprints, there's a ton out there. All right, so let's move on to our smelting columns. And like I said before, this kind of area right here looks pretty open, pretty good. I wanna leave just a little bit of a path, so I'll stay here. And this is, let's mark our line, our kind of last smelting column, just so that we know. There, that'll be the last line of defense, so to say. And then we want to leave a little bit of room here. So this is where ghosts kind of come into play, which help with planning. Um, so what we're gonna try to do is our little factory that we're gonna make is gonna have the four, is it four? No, six, six initial sciences of red, green, gray, blue, yellow, and purple. And all those six sciences are, are used to get to near the end game and research all the technologies that you need until you finally expand to a mega base. But before then, we need a s smaller factory than the mega base to build the mega base, if that makes sense. So we don't need a vast amount of resources until we get to the big mega base part. Um, in my experience, we do need a decent amount of green circuits, which needs a lot of iron, a lot of copper. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be smelting six lines of iron to be used for our, main, or our base, 
green circuits as well as our mall. Catherine F. Sky says mall. Nilaus calls it a production hub. You can call it whatever you want. I call it a mall. I like that. Um, so we're going to, the mall is going to be consuming a lot of iron, especially for belt making. Um, so we need, I'll say six lanes of iron plates. We're going to be using four lanes of copper. Um, and then our green circuit build will produce four lanes of green circuits. They won't all be full, but it'll just be nice to have four lanes. Um, and then we'll have a, we'll have another two, um, two chunks of four lanes for other intermediary products that we want on the bus as well as a fluid bus. So we're going to have copper and stone be on this side. So what we want to do is we want to leave at least, let's see, four, five places, five, um, belt, belt places. That doesn't make any sense. Um, five lanes for, for four, for the copper plate or copper ore. And we actually need two. We need two for the stone. So we'll add two stone, one to be smelted and one to continue to the main bus. All right. So, how this is built, actually, let's bring, let's bring this all the way over here. Obviously, we won't need all six, but it's good to have. Okay. So, how this is going to be built, we will have, we will, uh, let's see. That's how it's made. Okay. So, we will split up our mineral that's being ored and our fuel in this case coal half a half a lane on each belt um so there will be coal and iron on this belt and then coal and iron on this belt they will fe both feed inwards into the smelters and then on the smelters the once they're smelted into plates they will go down this min middle lane and be output onto the bus down here all right so Let's leave one, two, let's leave another one, two. Actually, let's leave three just to be safe. Okay, there we go. Actually, let's go one this way. So we'll turn that around. Yeah, that's nicer, okay. And then our fuel will be coming through here. Nope, we'll be coming through here because usually uh, I need to make more splitters. Um, and then we'll have our fuel coming in that way and then down and then usually just to show for for this sake usually we'll have it like so but since this is going to be the last one we don't need another splitter here so let's go here let's add furnaces and then the ratio to smelt a full yellow belt of iron or copper plate is 48 furnaces um, that consumes an entire belt and produces an entire belt consumes an entire belt of iron ore and produces an entire belt of copper or iron plate same thing with copper it's the exact same ratio um, so what we'll do is we'll take our deconstruction planner drag it out and then we need 24 on this side. So we have 16 so far. So we need eight more. I'm gonna just delete these trees first for a little bit, just to make a little bit of room. And then honestly, we're gonna be deleting a decent amount of trees. So I would like to get a mini factory of, um, of bombs no not bombs grenades that's the word i'm looking for jeez <laughs> english much um okay i think this will give us enough room 
So we add, what do we have? 16, so we need eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just double check here. 24, all right, cool. Let's extend this belt. This middle one will go out. And then let's bring all these down. And then this belt. Okay, so that's kind of the skeleton of what we'd use for one smelting column. This is gonna be our stone. I messed up. Um, so 48 smelters is the ratio for copper and iron. However, stone smelts faster and consumes twice. We need two stone for every one stone brick cons uh, produced. So in reality, I only need half of these. However, I don't want to go ahead and delete them. So I'm just going to keep the whole thing and it'll add a buffer, which is fine. And it'll look a little bit more symmetrical. Um, ooh, we do need a bunch of inserters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and pick up some more resources. Iron plates there. And we are running out of fuel. Dang it, I thought we'd be good. Let's go ahead, pick up all the coal here. And to pick up stuff off the belt, you just press F while you're on it, and then it'll pick it up. So that should be more than enough, great. So we'll fill up the miners as well as the smelters. And that's something I forgot to do over here. I forgot to fill up the smelters. Cool, all right. Uh, what, what did I want to do? Yes, I wanted to, oh, damn it. That wasn't producing anything that entire time. Great. I need more signs here. How much do I have there? A thousand? That's fine. And we're going to need more belts. We're going to need more iron as well. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to add another lane here. And only put in a half stack for now. So what did I need? I needed... Yes, I needed the inserters which needed the green circuits which <laughs> weren't being produced that entire time <laughs> great um i'm gonna add another thing here because it'll split up i'm hoping yes they'll alternate so the miners will be made at a slower rate but we will get um a little bit of these green circuits that we need for these inserters but in the meantime, I guess we'll have to make do with hand crafting. So let's go ahead, pick up some more iron plate. <laughs> we can only craft two. <laughs> Great. Okay. Need to pick up iron. Okay, so we can pick up 75. Let's go by five every single time. And we will need all of those. Um, we will need some more stone furnaces. So let's go up and top off on our stone. How much, how much do we have in here? 666. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so we made a little bit of that. Let's go down and see if we can't finish out our smelting column. And then that way, we'll just use the blueprint system to copy and paste it all the way down. All right. Do we have those inserters? Yes, we do. And I'm gonna use kind of a speed build technique of dragging out like this. And you just kind of hold the middle mouse button and you alternate.
And now we're out. <laughs> okay. Might have to wait a little bit to start this. But what I'll do in the meantime is... Ooh, I could place ghosts. That's perfectly fine. All right. So let's place power poles here and here. That way it covers the entire row. And then the next coverage will be here. Great. And that gives us a nice little grid. And we can copy this. Here, while I'm at it, let's do this. And since we're going to be copying and pasting this entire build, uh, just for the time being, I'm going to finish it out so that it's a nice mirror. That way we can copy and paste everything. All right. But I will need, what will I need? This stone to come down into here. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. And then this line of stone, where do I want that? I guess it can go, yes, it can go on the other side. So actually, let's do this instead. And then this line of stone will come through here. Oh, actually, but that defeats the purpose of copying and pasting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste it now. There we go. But it's not ready yet. <laughs> dilemmas, dilemmas. I gotta finish out this, this uh, smelting column fully before I copy and paste it so that we actually get a full blueprint. There we go. And we ran out. All right, so we need more. We're also gonna need a bunch more power poles. So let's make a couple more of those. Let's pause our um, stone furnace production. Pick up some more iron plate. And then also pick up some more copper. And make all these inserters. Great, okay. Let's pick up some belts while we're up here. 180, awesome. There we go. Pick up 34 of these. And our, oh, our this stopped because our seal axe is finished. Okay, Um, what's next on the agenda? Military two would be great to get those um, grenades. Gun turrets also great. Um, or inventories. Great. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Actually, let's not let's not research anything right now. We need to focus on getting our smelting columns finished. How much we got? We got 32 miners. We got some inserters. Awesome. Okay. Here we go, let's go all the way down. We were on our way back with these inserters. Perfect, awesome. Okay, now let's go ahead and place our power poles. Right, no, here, there we go. Perfect. And what I like to do with the last eight smelters is I like to add a second lane. And you'll see why I say so in a minute. Hmm. Oh, why am I running out? Oh, it's because of this. An odd number of tunnels. Not great. Uh, let's... Control click on all of these. Keep going, keep going. Is that not doing it? Oh, I need a shift click. I'm an idiot. Nice fail. Okay. So let's build 
some more undergrounds, and then go back to building all the inserters. Okay, so how much is that? That's six, eight. What we'll do is we'll branch off, go here, and then we'll finish off merging the two lanes together and balancing them. So what I find with, um, with doing it all one lane, there's instances where it doesn't compress at the very end and you get a slight gap and it's not full throughput and it's not fully compressed. Um, and you'll see what I mean by compression further on in, in the playthrough. Uh, if an object is kind of in between um, belts, so let me explain this a different way. There are eight total objects that can fit onto a belt at any one point on, a, on one tile right here. So you have four on one side and four on the other. If you, depending on the time where you add it, it might fall, you know, slightly off on that four on one side, four on the other. So what it'll do is when you get an inserter inserting an object onto a belt and it falls kind of in between that line, it'll compress or shift certain objects in order to fully fit eight items onto a belt. Um, and that's what you need to get full throughput is eight items at all times per tile. Um, so what this does is it splits off this last part into here and then what, so eight on per side. So this is 16 out of the 48, uh, smelters on this side. And then when it goes underground, it compresses. And then when it merges together, it compresses. So then you don't get the little instance at the very end where this inserter can't keep up and then doesn't add it on, um, it's just, it's a small thing, but turns out, I don't know, it's a little little OCD thing. So now, now that everything's done, let me just double check at the end here that everything's good. Yes, it is. Okay. So now we can control copy all of this, drag it all the way down, include this splitter at the end, and now we've got a smelting column. Woo! All right, so now we can shift left click and that'll mark all of these trees for de deconstruction. Another way to do it is to uh, click on this deconstruction planner, then click on your hot bar and it'll add a shortcut there. Uh, I'm gonna middle click to delete that because I already have one. Once it's on your hotbar, you can right click and set the settings. You can whitelist trees and rocks. You can blacklist trees and rocks. Um, and basically you can set this deconstruction planner to delete or, I don't know, del yeah, delete is the right word. <laughs> delete anything that you want. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it on trees and rocks and set all of these trees right here for deconstruction. Okay. So now this is going to be our first copper smelting place. Okay, so that's, there we can delete that because those are gonna be all here. Okay, so now let's take both of these. Actually, no, just one. So I'll press Control V to paste again because it was already saved. So that's our second copper, third copper, and fourth copper. So now what I'm gonna do now is copy four of these all together. Add four lanes of iron. And then I'm gonna go halfway. So I'm just gonna go two right here. And you see the blue, it lines up perfectly. Add two more lanes of iron. So now, if I'm going to use my deconstruction planner and just use these top belts here, it's one line. So right now we have a 11 smelting columns. We have six for iron plate, four for copper plate, and one for stone and stone uh, furnaces, or not stone furnaces, stone bricks. But one thing I did forget, I'm actually, I, I'm glad that I did it just for the copy and paste purposes, but we don't need this compression part for stone just because stone only uses half of the smelters anyways. Or, yeah, the smelters. 
only uses half of the smelters anyways, so it, it'll have no problem compressing a full belt with double the amount of smelters, so that's fine. And as well, we'd like to transport uh, we'd like to transport our stone alongside it. Let's see here. We'll delete this because we don't need it since it's at the end. And then we'd like to bring our stone alongside it here. That way we'll have stone bricks on this one and then stone ore here. Now, a way to power up this thing is we're going to click and drag along these this bottom row of power poles until we can connect it to the rest of our power, which is coming from here. Oh, and we ran out of fuel again, great. Let's go ahead and grab some more. More than enough, cool. Let's grab some miners. We need copper here. And I'm gonna put this in here. More belts. How much iron do we have there? Yeah, we're fine. Let's grab some copper. And then more iron. We're out of inventory. Perfect. All right, now let's finish out these ghosts. So right now we have all of our iron plate, all of our copper plate, and all of our stone, um, stone furnaces set up. The last thing that we're gonna need is steel. Steel is a little bit different of a build. Um, I'm not sure if we should do it yet until we get the red uh, red furnaces, but we can. we can, we can build it out. So we're gonna have um, iron ore here, feed into steel, and then have output as well as coal or fuel input, and then the same thing on the other side. So it is wider because iron ore gets smelted into iron plate and then iron plate gets smelted into steel. So that's why we need to have the kind of double smelting. And then for this, since our fuel is coming in here, it'll be coming in from the right side. two, three, one, two, three. Um, actually, I'm gonna have my output be on this one. So I'm gonna need a long-handed inserter to go there. And then this is gonna be our fuel which will work like so, right? Let me just double check that. Whoops, don't wanna get caught there. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I just want four. Is it ready? Yes, it is, okay. So I'll have underground fuel going this way and then Coal coming in here. Cool. So it'll first be split off to go to this direction and onto the belts and then split off again to come up the middle. Is that right? Yes, it is. I think that's right. Okay. So this will be one um, man, I can't talk when I'm building. Uh, one 
width, or this is going to be the width of our, oh, actually, did I mess up? I might have messed up. Yes, I did. Okay. Because we need, we need uh, fuel to come in here. So I need to move this back one. I need to add fuel drop off here. So I can have, I need to add, I need to move that back again. This, this will split off into fuel. I can't be right. It should be. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. So it's this. And then one lane will feed into that. And then, whoops, one lane will just keep on going. Right? Yes. Okay, so fuel comes in, gets splits in half. Half of it keeps on going. Half of it goes into this splitter, which half of that goes across and down. Okay, yeah, so we, we figured that out. All right. So I'll have... Another splitter there, or not splitter, inserter there, inserter there. And then take off this plane here. And then, yeah, we should be good to go on that. Oh, uh, do you know what? No, this build cannot use these wooden power poles. We need the steel power poles. So what I'm gonna do actually we have to we have to hand feed these because we need these power poles. Hold on, oh, and we can't research them yet. What kind of research do we need for electricity? Uh, we need red and green. That's why. Okay, so to get that first, let's research electronics. That way we can get fast inserters and electric energy, and then that that way we'll get the medium electric power poles. Uh, but at least we spaced it out. We spaced it out to, to however much that we need. But it does look like we are out of time for today. Thank you so much for joining me in another episode of Zero to Hero. Comment down below what you'd like to see in the next video. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And come hang out with me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash I stream every Sunday. I'd love to hang out with you guys over there. And I'll see you next time.